We're here with Coleman Thompson of Hunter Transportation, uh, located in South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Coleman, thanks for taking the time out today. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about Hunter? Well, my business partner and I, Randall Lorvig, started the company in 1998, working out of a, a spare bedroom in my house. We had to throw one of the sons out, make him bunk with his younger brother, and took over the office. Soon thereafter, we were uh, asked to vacate the premises because we were too disruptive. We started with one truck, <laughs> and that was my business partner driving it, and I was doing the sales and dispatch. Our fleet... Um, is currently 35 trucks. We at one point were more than that, but since the pandemic, we shrunk a little bit. Now we're back on the upswing to start building again. We are an intermodal ocean container hauler. We move containers locally and regionally in the Carolinas and Georgia. We own and maintain our own chassis. As they're both export and import, we haul a variety of commodities. You know, you've, you've had the perspective to see, you know, volatile markets um, before the one that we're currently in. Have you ever experienced, you know, the changes to your business that you experienced over the last couple of months? Back in 2008 and 2009 with the financial meltdown, that opened our eyes up to uh, what could go wrong and what we needed to do to solidify ourselves and get back up and rolling again. With every incident or episode, you always hope there's a bottom. And then you hope you're able to ride through back up on the way back to uh, profitability. And we believe we have seen the bottom here. It's going to plateau or level and then start to come back up slowly. In 2008, 2009, well, we didn't know what to expect, so we weren't sure when things would start to recover. With the pandemic, we thought we could see, you know, in a month, two months, three months, things will get back to normal. And it's just taking a little bit more time. Uh, we're happy to see a lot of production coming back. We're starting to see the consumer starting to buy discretionary products versus toilet paper, <laughs> you know, the, the, the basics. Um, and that's encouraging. Uh, there, there is hope there. Before the pandemic, what were some of your main challenges as a business? Um, and what did those main challenges or, or you know, areas of focus of your business become our main challenges prior to the pandemic were expanding our customer base and controlling our costs. That hasn't changed. <laughs> it's just been intensified, particularly in the cost control. Our container volumes decreased substantially, and that was due to the export and import, import businesses really affected by both domestic as well as international events. The overseas countries, China and Europe, both basically shut down. Were there any specific adjustments that you had to do uh, in order to you know, persevere through that uh, container uh, volume drop? Yeah, we had to adjust our, our staff here. We also made some changes in our truck fleet. Uh, we also purchased some additional chassis. The other thing that we really, uh, really relied on and we've always relied on is our technology. Uh, we have an excellent order management and dispatching software through a company called Profit Tools. We have for years used the electronic logging devices. We use onboard cameras and we have handheld devices in the trucks. Um, we were trying to make sure our drivers and customers utilize all of those to their advantage. And one of the things we noticed about LoadSmart is we particularly like the in-truck tracking for their customers' benefit. Uh, that is something we hadn't considered, but because we, we know where our trucks are <laughs> at all times. So that is something that we, we appreciate what you're doing there. That's a, a very beneficial technology to offer to a customer or compliments there. From your perspective, what was the driver experience like, you know, in the thick of the pandemic? It was more of a concern of what's going to happen to the economy. Will I have a job tomorrow? We did everything we could to assure our drivers, as long as you keep doing the right thing, it will work out just the way it's supposed to. Do you feel hopeful that you know, your business will get back to, to the way business was and then you know, be able to continue to expand? Volumes in the import-export business will continue to rise and get back to what they were and actually expand. 
I don't have enough of a or clear enough crystal ball to give you a prognostication on when that's going to occur. But America runs on trucks. 70% of all cargo runs on a truck somewhere. I don't see trucking, be it trucking as an, in, uh, as an industry or intermodal being of less importance in the future. In fact, one of the great things to come out of the pandemic is trucking was recognized as an essential business and on the front line of bringing product to the American public when they were stuck at home. I'm very hopeful. <laughs> well, I know we're grateful for uh, you, know, you allowing us to help you guys be so essential. So thanks, Coleman. This has been incredibly insightful and uh, your perspective is, is really interesting and special to us and I think a lot of um, the industry out there.